Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. Today is Friday, January 25th, 2019. I'm Haley Dupree. And I'm Brianna Agbuku. Today is an A day or a what day? This week we are featuring zones, the spelling bee winner, and a STEM video contest. Lunch today will be sauce pizza, zucchini, and tomato, fruit cocktail, and milk. The next June Council meeting is Monday, January 28th. The meeting will be in room 235. The 6th grade will be having their annual stargazing night on February 7th from 6.30 to 7.30. Please come accompanied by a parent across from Cinnamon Rainbows as we look for star clusters, constellations, planets, and more. Wednesday, January 30th, will be an early release day at 11.30 a.m. Have fun on your early release day. Make Monday Pizza Night. Help support Hampton Academy's 8th grade trip to Washington, D.C. It's Monday, January 28th to from 5 to 9 at the Community Oven. Come on our takeout to help us earn money for our trip. The Community Oven will donate 5% of all total sales. Eat more pizza. The more pizza we eat, the more dough we raise. Recently, the PTA Reflections program for the 2018 to 2019 school year had their gallery night. Some of the students who submitted entries are moving on to the state finals. From center school are, for visual arts, Lucy Grote, Gavin Johnson, and William Zacharias. And from center school for literature, Max Breshnahan. And from Marston in literature, AJ Homix and Oscar Runner Bland and Liam Breshnahan. From Marston in music, Lola Gro and Harper Babiak. From Marston in Photography, Harper Babiak and Cameron Andrews. From Marston in Visual, Aaron Muldoon and Emerson Babiak. From Hampton Academy in Literature, Ryan King, Emily Curry, and Zane Fraser. From Hampton Academy in Music, Emerson Babiak and Alina Hardman. From Hampton Academy in Photography, Zane Fraser. From Hampton Academy in Visual Art in Visual, Emerson Babiak. Thank you everyone who participated in the Candy for Canines contest held during 7th and 8th grade snack and lunch. Mr. Doherty Shark Block raised over $100 from the NHS PCA. Here are some of the winners of the estimation game. There are 1,340 Skittles in the jar and the closest guess was Avanish Athrulari with a guess of 987. There are 1,984 M&Ms in the other jar and with a perfect guess of 1,984. The winner is Tyler Blank. Please come to Mr. Doherty's class and claim your prize. Every year, students from all walks of life have the opportunity to participate in the Scripps National Spelling Bee, one of the nation's oldest and most iconic competitions. Our purpose is to help students improve their spelling, increase their vocabularies, learn concepts, and develop correct English, English usage that will help them all their lives. This year marks the 92nd year of competition. After 18 rounds of intense head-to-head -head competition, this year's Hampton Academy winner is 8th grader Emily Curry. Emily will go on to, to compete against all the other NH school spelling bee winners at the Capitol Center for the Arts in Concord on Saturday, February 23rd. This, is an annual, this annual event is sponsored by the NH Union Leader. Only one winner from NH will go to D.C. in the spring to compete in the Scripps National Spelling Bee competition. Congratulations to Riley Thurston for being our runner-up. Great, Great job to all. all. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. Today I'm here with our 2019 school-wide spelling bee champ, Emily Curry. Congratulations, Emily. Thank you. How did you prepare for the spelling bee? I studied a couple minutes every day, and I just read through the words a lot, and eventually I got pretty good at them. Cool. What was your winning word? Turgiversation. Where do you go next in your competition? Next, I'll be going to the state spelling bee in Concord with the other participants from all the other schools in the state. Wow. Again, congratulations, Emily. Thank you. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Jacob. Wow, you're in good mood today. Yeah, I'm feeling like everything is clicking, and I scored 10 points in my basketball game. Well, nice. Sounds like you're in the green zone. Well, what does this have to do with zones? 
When you're focused, ready to learn, calm, and organized, you're in the green zone. I'm a little jealous. I wish I was caught up with my homework, too. I know a strategy that keeps me there. I make a list of what I need to do the night before. Wow, I knew that. Thank you. We have been celebrating Warm Spirit Days on Fridays this month. First, we had Crazy Sock Day. Last week was Hats for Cancer Day. And this week is Twin Day. Take a look at some warm spirited students from last week. The students and staff raised $570 for pediatric cancer research. Lauren Muldoon and Caden Saliniak, who are currently STEM students in Mrs. Birch's class. I understand that you are working on a project for STEM that involves entering a contest, Lauren. Can you tell me about this project? So the project is called 365 and Drive, and we entered a contest, and it's all about teen car crashes and teen safety. That's so cool. And Cadence, where are you in the process of this video, and when do you expect um, we have done most of our filming, and I think we're, supposed, we're, gonna, we're planning on being done about next week. That's great. And is there anything else you want to tell us about this project? I f uh, we, start, we did this project because we really think it's uh, a good opportunity for kids to know that all about teen safety. That's awesome. And now let's cut to a clip of Lauren driving the car. Thank you. During our Friday advisory lessons this month, groups have been participating in trust activities. Students participate in blindfold trust boxes, pairs, and large groups using verbal and nonverbal communication skills to help guide each other through obstacles in the classroom and hallways. After participating in the walks, we reflected on what things we needed to do to gain our peers' trust and take care of each other's safety. We also reviewed the full value contract we made at the beginning of the year to see what group expectations we met in this activity and what concepts we needed to improve on or add to our contract to be successful. Such as be safe, 
listen to others, or be open to new ideas. How did your group do in gaining trust of your fellow advisory members? Let's take a look at some pictures and videos from the activities. So we have four weather picks for you guys today. We have Ranger Having Fun in Winter by Avanish Atheroy. Sunset by Nina M McDonough and Riley McKenna. And Rainbow Sunrise by Alina Hardman. Also Hampton Beach After the Storm by Mrs. Halverson. And now for your day planner. So at 8 a.m. it will be 29 degrees and sunny. Warming up on at 12 a.m. at 36 degrees and mostly sunny. And at 4 p.m. it will be 36 degrees and mostly cloudy. And now for your five-day forecast. On Saturday, it's going to be a high 38 degrees with a low of 17 degrees. And except for a few afternoon clouds, it's going to be mainly sunny. And on Sunday, it will be 42, a high 42 degrees and a low of 26 degrees. Mostly cloudy, a few flurries or snow showers possible. On Monday, it's going to be a high 30 degrees with a low of 15 degrees. Snow showers early, but peaks of sunshine later in the day. Then on Tuesday, it will be a high 40 degrees and a low of 27 degrees. Snow showers in the morning will give way to a mixture of rain and snow in the afternoon. That's your weather. I'm Kaylee Merrifield. And I'm Piper Saunders. Hey guys, it's Avenues coming at you this week with your fact. And apparently, if you bang your head against the wall for an hour, I don't recommend that, you burn 150 calories. Otherwise, you could just walk your dog for 45 minutes and burn the same amount. Unless you want to bang your head against the wall, which would probably give you something like trauma. Yeah, that's your fact. I'm Avanish. Bye. Celebrating his birthday today is Carter O'Brien. Celebrating tomorrow is Skylar Sinclair. Happy birthday, Carter and Skylar. Our thought of the day comes from Thomas Edison, who was an American inventor and businessman who has been described as America's greatest inventor. Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is to always try just one more time. And now for your jokes, make sure to send your jokes at sharknews at sau90.org. This is a joke from Matt Mattimore. Hey, my mother's name is Laughter and my dad's name is Humorous. Are you kidding? No, that's my brother. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, before you speak, text, chat, or post. Ask yourself, is it kind, is it true, and is it necessary? And remember the Academy way. Manage yourself, act responsibly, and respect yourself and others. Go, Go out there and make it a great day. day.